Greetings, writers. It's Mr. Hebda from the Lackawanna College Writing Center. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to cite AI using APA 7. First off, let's make sure that our instructors even allow us to use AI in class. Many of them will see any use of AI on an assignment as a violation of academic integrity, which could result in a zero on the assignment or even worse. So make sure that you check with your instructor and check the AI policy in the class syllabus before you use AI in any class. That being said, for the purposes of this video, we're going to assume that our instructor allows us to use AI to do research. So we'll have to follow a couple other rules. First, it's really hard for researchers to access full chats with AI. So we need to actually copy and paste the whole prompt and conversation with the chatbot into a page on the end of our paper. Another problem with AI is that it doesn't cite sources. So we'll need to make sure that we actually ask in the prompt for AI to provide sources. Then we'll actually use those sources and their information instead. So we'll cite them instead of the AI tool. And that means we're going to have to check them with the crap test too, just like we would with any other source. So here's an example prompt for our video. Define and describe the role of the collective unconscious in Jungian psychology with online and print sources, of course. Uh-oh. So robots, they're like you and me. They make mistakes, too. So when I checked out one of those sources that that prompt provided, or that the AI provided in response to that prompt, it happened to be this Jungian.org, which happens to be for sale, doesn't exist. <laughs> so AI has so much stuff fed into it from the internet that sometimes it garbles ideas, too. It'll mix up the names of authors and names of books or articles. So do make sure that you check to make sure the information it's providing is accurate. So that said, maybe you still like what the AI chat said, and you still want to use it in your paper. If so, I'm going to show you some ways that you can do it. First off, APA likes us to use paraphrases. So if we wanted to bring in information from our chat with ChatGPT, this is a way that we can do it. When asked about the significance of the collective unconscious in Jungian psychology, ChatGPT reported that the concept represented a deep set of shared archetypes and symbols common to all humanity. But the artificial intelligence tool failed to provide adequate sources to back up these claims. We definitely want to make sure we add in that qualification whenever we use information from ChatGPT that is dubious, that we're not sure about. We want to make sure that we say, uh-oh, mm, these sources probably not that good. And we actually write that into our paper. We follow that up with an in-text citation that brings in the name of the creator of the AI tool and the year that the tool was made. All right, so say we want to use the exact words from our conversation with the chatbot. Here's an example of how we could do it. I'm not going to read through the whole quote for the sake of time, but it's very similar to the, to the paraphrasing example. The only difference here is that we add to our in-text citation a reminder for the reader to check out the appendix where they can see the full word-for-word -word conversation and where this quote fits into that conversation. So when we get to the references page, we'll use this formula to build a citation when we use AI. So we'll start off with the name of the creator of the AI tool, followed by the year the tool was made, then the name of the AI tool and its version, in italics, followed by, in brackets, what type of tool it is. It's a large language model, for example, not an image generating tool. Then we'll end with the website address. So here's an example for the prompt that we have in this video on Jungian psychology. We'll cite OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, followed by the year that the tool was made, 2024. The version is ChatGPT 4.0 mini in italics. In brackets, we have large language model, the type of tool. And then at the end, we wrap up with the website address with an active link so that readers can follow it. Now, don't forget that you're also going to have to add in the full text of your chat on an appendix as well. Now, I'm not going to have enough time to cover on how to do that in this video. So I'm going to put a link in the description below that will help you access your chats and help you format an appendix as well. All right, here are my references in case you want to pause the video and check them out. And thanks for watching, everyone. Feel free to check out the other videos we have on the Lackawanna College Writing Center YouTube channel. And keep on writing, everyone. Mr. Hebda out.